what's happening day one of day four of Sharga. we're in a hotel right now and it's quarter after four our flight's not until 5 50 and we're just gonna go for breakfast in a bit and then we're gonna taxi on our way to the airport uh, but the day one is just pretty much traveling we got like five or four hours of layover in Cebu so I don't know what we're gonna do there so we'll be arriving in Sharga uh, very late at noon maybe checked into our uh, room not until like five or six down for the long run now red corvette and my drop top down calling up my digits in my motor roll line up speeding like a we're in the airport right now apparently we can't have any breakfast because the uh, cook fell asleep so it's 5 a.m and we're just gonna go ahead and check in this is for breakfast, uh, a protein bar and some Americano iced coffee. This is kind of like the travel style of uh, breakfast. Someone falling and I'm a whip, whip, yeah. Out in Fairfax, going hard in the pit, yeah. Yeah, I still ball in the pit, yeah. Something wrong with the picture. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie? We just landed in Cebu. We have like four or five hours of layover. But for now, we're just gonna enjoy and uh, just chill out in the airport. Do some editing and probably charge my drone so I can fly it later. All right, you guys, not only I lost one expensive liquid, but I lost four. My sunscreen got confiscated, my Cetaphil. Across the five hours layover, shit, it was actually eight hours layover, but now, we're just getting off the uh, shuttle bus and then we're gonna get into the uh, second plane. Round two, baby, let's go. Alright, you guys, touchdown, Shargao, boy! <laughs> oh man, the whole day we spent, the whole day in the airport was such a waste. Uh, we're just gonna look for a uh, bike to rent. We're just finalizing to a, uh, rent a motorbike and then we're gonna be on our way to, uh, to our room. Guys, first stop. Get some gas. Man, we had a flat tire. We had a flat tire. Oh my god. Alright, you guys. We pushed around our bike for about half an hour. Now we found a vulcanizing. Uh, and now they're working on it right now. I hope uh, we can get to our room just before sunset because it's really getting dark out here. And I know I don't know how long this is gonna take, but hopefully not too long. Alright, so we have a new bike because the uh, old bike that we had, it's too much damage on the tire so the guy that we rented it came to, uh, came to us and then gave us a new bike and now it's so late and uh, we're gonna go ahead to General Luna which is about half an hour. Alright you guys, we just checked into our room. It's 7 o'clock. Uh, we checked in uh, half an hour ago. Uh, we were a little bit lost but now we're here so we're just gonna go have some dinner we're gonna sleep pretty early tonight because we're gonna wake up so early tomorrow morning because we got island hopping and uh, yeah that's just for tonight and I'll see you guys tomorrow good morning you guys it's day two uh, it's first thing in the morning and we're already up um, so this is the place that we're staying in it's a little hot and then in front there is a beach front it's a beach front there's a gate it can go in and then get into the beach but anyways the plan is today is we're gonna do island hopping 8 a.m. Um, right now we're just gonna get some coffee uh, look at the sunset and then get to the supermarket later uh, to buy uh, our lunch later for island hopping and then later in the afternoon we're gonna be going to the general luna oh, what the go to general luna uh, do some surfing and uh, watch the uh, sunset. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I love my GoPro. <laughs> I love my GoPro. But you guys, you know what? I'm not gonna let no GoPro, lack of sunscreen, gonna get in my way into this vacation. 
we're going straight straight ahead the morning plan is we go to the supermarket to uh, buy some food for our lunch later for Alan hopping and then just when we get back I think we're gonna be on a boat just right in front of us there's a beach right in front of us the boats gonna be there and we're just gonna get in do the island hopping let's go so we went to the uh, supermarket got some fish for island hopping then we got some vegetables and some rice some big water now we're just gonna head back to the uh, to where we're staying and then get ready for the uh, island hopping our boat is ready We're in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna go snorkeling here. Water is so blue. You guys, the first island that we stopped by is the Naked Island. What it is, is basically it's just an island full of sand. There's no trees in here as you can see. And it's just sand in the middle of the uh, ocean. And the water around it is so crystal clear that there's this one boat that you uh, see, it's that, like it's floating. And it's crazy. I'm gonna get some drone shots here and uh, show you guys what it is. All right, you guys, that is it for this island here. We're gonna go into the next one. As you can see, tourism's got a little busier here now since it's gonna be noon pretty soon. So we're gonna go pretty soon. It's just setting it up so we can go now. We're on the next island here. This is called the uh, Daku Island, which is there's cottages and where you can cook your lunch and stuff like that. And this whole island is just full of palm trees all over the island. I'll, I'll shoot some drones so you guys can see. All right, you guys, we're on the island right now. Uh, so nice out here. And there's these are the cottages that I'm telling you about. I don't think there's fee. I don't think you didn't need. I don't think you need to pay anything for these cottages. Once you're in the island, you just had, just need to pick one of these cottages, and then you're gonna have your lunch here. And of course, Tisha picks the pink one. We have this really big boat for both of us and it's only for a thousand five hundred which is around I think forty dollars Canadian and probably twenty five dollars US and we got so lucky to have this boat and just for two of us while other boat have six eight or ten or more than that but this boat we have is for one five for just both of us just waiting for lunch and I didn't realize it's actually my birthday today <laughs> until Tisha started saying happy birthday to me we're gonna go where they cooking our food and see how good it looks you guys lunch is served first we got a uh, milk fish I think they just grilled this and then we also have some seaweed and there's a little bit of vinegar and some onion in it and then we have some pinak bit which is kind of all veggie type and then we also have toyos which is like the sauces for the fish and whatever you want and then we have some rice we're leaving daku island we're gonna be going to the next island i don't know what it, island it is but now we're just undocking right now and then we're gonna be on our way to the uh, third island which is the last island we're gonna be at and then we're gonna go ahead back. 